Hi everyone, I'm Walter Bown. I'm the advisor, teacher of the journalism program here at Eastern. I've been doing this thing with the Voyager since 1999. If you add the years, I was here with the Voyager when I was in high school. Yeah, it's like half my life has been the Voyager. Scary, but sad, perhaps, but not too sad because I love it. Um, especially when we win all sorts of awards. Um, for many years, like for instance, uh, 2015, 2019, we won the Overall Excellence Award in the state of New Jersey. Uh, we won a lot of awards this year. We're, we just won like three or four awards for online broadcasting. So we're going print, now we're on YouTube, now we're on podcast, and we're doing SoundCloud and YouTube videos and broadcasting. So we have this set here that's kind of rinky-dink, but hey, it works. And the students learn so many things with the Voyager. They learn how to, of course, write well. They learn to have adult skills with interviewing. Where else can you sit down with the superintendent of schools as a student and ask the tough questions? No other class, it's the Voyager. Why? Because now you have that First Amendment ticket, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and students have a lot of rights. Um, and we publish what I think is a darn good newspaper. And we publish once a month, not September, but we start in October, but we have already have stuff online. Um, we go to voyageronline.org, there's a hyphen there in the middle. And we also have it on issue, uh, we're all over the place. So if you go, whether it's in print, online, on YouTube, uh, there's Voyager stuff going on. Uh, there's three levels, uh, Journalism 1, Journalism 2, Journalism 3. Journalism 2 and 3 are the editors, and they pretty much run the paper. Again, I'm the advisor. Uh, I advise them. I directly teach the ones, the ins and outs of ethics and Supreme Court cases and how to write AP style, inverted pyramid, how to write with concrete nouns. We look at current events. They pursue stories that interest them, whether it's sports or features or whatever entertainment. So that's the great thing about the Voyager in journalism is that you bring to the class your interest and you pursue stories that impact you and that you think are important to the student body from freshmen to seniors. Uh, and we, they learn to write, they learn interviewing skills, they learn how to work with people, how to work in a group. I have 12 editors who work together collaboratively to make this all happen. And when one falls down or the other falls down, well, someone else can come and help. And then, really, I don't get involved unless I have to. Um, or if they come to me for advisement. And we also have a very vibrant club where we have about 10 to 11 active club members. Hopefully, these freshmen, sophomore, will be taking the class next year. And the Voyager has, uh, the alumni of, of the Voyager has done very well. I mean, we have students working at the Boston Globe, Washington Post, Billboard Magazine, American Law. Uh, I've had kids go into graphic design. In fact, uh, Vania, who did the flag and redesign of the paper, she's now a graphic designer in New York City. A photographer, um, he is now, one of our photographers is now a, a full-time photographer. I think he's in Asia right now. So. The things that you can learn in this class are, I don't think you can learn anywhere else. You can learn writing here, you can learn photography here, but the Voyager brings really everything together with uh, InDesign, desktop publishing, we do Photoshop, we do Illustrator, we do uh, Audacity for the audio, they'll learn Final Cut Pro, they'll learn iMovie, but Final Cut Pro is better. They'll learn how to shoot video, they'll learn how to use the rule of thirds, uh, the golden ratio, all of these things now because uh, journalism is not just one or the other, broadcast, print. No, it's, you need to learn how to do all of these things. So when I see journalists out in the field, they're doing the article, they have the camera, they're taking the picture, they're doing a tweet about it, and they're, uh, public, they're their own like mini uh, publicist. So we have Twitter, uh, we're probably gonna get on Instagram. So by the end of the year, you can see what your son or daughter has produced very easily by going to voyageronline.org, click on staff, there's their picture, there's their bio, and you can see all of what they've done for the Voyager. And the more kids that do more good work, that's a fantastic thing, and what a great thing for a resume, too. 
uh, that especially uh, kids that have gone into colleges, oftentimes the college says, wow, that article you did challenging this or that, we were really impressed by that. And that's all the difference, right? It's just amazing stuff when you see the kids put their hard work into something that you see other kids around the school reading and talking about. And it's all about student empowerment. And what could be more important today than getting kids empowered to take back or to, or to at least seize control or to say question the decisions that sometimes adults make for them that may not be in their best interest. Uh, we have conservative writers, we have progressive writers, we have most in the middle, some who don't even care or don't even know. And, but you don't need to be political. We do talk about politics in the class, because you have to. Um, and we do write opinion pieces, and we try to have as much balance as possible. And so it's a big tent. And I look forward to another great year. And if you have any questions, please come see me, uh, email me. And thanks a lot. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, why should you trust me to teach your son, your daughter, uh, the glamour and the rigor and the beauty of the English language? Well, I have a master's degree in English. Um, before teaching here at Eastern, this is my 21st year, um, I was in sales where I was pretty successful, miserable because I was not teaching. Um, I was an adjunct professor at three different colleges, making really bad money, um, having a lot of fun, but I had a family and I needed to uh, you know, pay the bills. So I started here in 1999. I not only have a master's degree in English, but I'm also a published writer. I have two or three books, actually three books, um, that are in the works, uh, that have been in the works for a long time. I have published fiction. You can go to waterbound.com, see you know, some of my stuff that's been published, uh, a lot of nonfiction. I do a lot of writing on education. I do some comedy. Um, published in the Satirist magazine, um, Monkey Bicycle, there's a whole bunch of things. Uh, published over in Britain uh, for short humor. So I practice what I preach. So when I talk about that I love to read, I read about a novel a week or a book a week. And I share what I bring to the classroom. I just read Malcolm Gladwell's uh, latest talk with strangers. I read uh, the 400 year history, untold history of white trash in America. I finished an Emily Dickinson biography. And so I read a lot, I write a lot, because I think it's really, really, really important. Uh, and I, hopefully that infectious enthusiasm carries over. Will it carry over for everyone? No. But I think the contagion and, uh, can, can really help. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.